And we're back. Uh, it's about a month of in-game time. For us, it's been about, I think, like three-ish weeks. Yep. Uh, we're going to get right back into business. Like, uh, not fighting in the Warrens. A moon ray, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure this enemy can bleed. But I already have a book of sanity, so I would like to pass that. We have never tried a lawn dungeon. Okay, solar crown, that's pretty good. Man at arms, that's a longevity eye patch. And we don't really have much to do right now. I, I we've just been repeatedly going into the ruins. We have to go for the sun rain. Like that is a lot of good damage and it's a lawn dungeon though. I have no clue how to prepare for a lawn dungeon. I don't even think I've ever completed one because I never get this far. Uh, just in case we're going to bring some high level people. Eh, we never- okay, let's find a good- hmm. I think she'd be okay in the far back. And I think we even have the damage against Blighted. No. Hear me out. More damage against Elder to Beans. That just appeases me. I think that'd be a good idea. Um. Hmm. New resistance. Can we even replace that with anything? Hmm. Ah, give him a worry stone. There we go. Okay. I, I'm just gonna buy extra food. Twelve. Yeah. Right, let's just do four, maybe. A couple shovels, a couple torches. It is a lawn dungeon. And then there, I guess. Just in case, I'll buy like. One extra, oh, and bandages for... Yeah, because we can find a bunch of things that we can use holy water for, which will allow us to, uh... Well... Well, which will allow buffing, because most of these either buff you, heal you, or decrease your stress, which is really good. Because low stress is amazing. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the still have the heroes ring, okay. Line. Oh. This isn't that bad. I kind of regret bringing so much supplies. This just looks like a medium dungeon to me. Okay, that's bizarre. We're just gonna roll with it. I mean, no one's blighted, but still, targeting two enemies for half their health. Um, I don't really need healing, so I guess we'll just do some stabbing. Grave nibble. Alright. I'm trying to get to the uh, darkest Another dungeon. One. Don't worry, I'm trying. It's just in between days of... Uh, in between their days of recovery from one single quest makes it really difficult to... Uh, really do anything.
Some gold. gold. Okay, I'll take fifty Trinkets gold. Paid for in blood. A room battle, so we went into the right room. Let's go point at the bone defender. Because marking is very useful. We're gonna go in with throwing daggers. We don't need healing. I'm willing to. Nice. I did not expect to kill the Arbalist so quickly. That's good. Because if the Arbalist is dead, we can take out the Bone Soldier with Gillian. Okay, and then we can use throwing daggers on the on the little the Corter dude. There we go. I don't like stress damage. It scares me. We need to heal the Grave Robber next. At the very least, guard them. say that that'll finish them but no sweet 12 health finish off the the kool-aid thrower kill off that guy these nightmarish creatures can be we're gonna keep going because i want to explore the entire square Hopefully we won't run into the Collector again, which is what happened last time. Because we fought the level... Uh, uh, the veteran Necromancer. Um, I'm willing to throw away some money for that. Okay, another room combat. More throwing daggers then. We're actually gonna target the second guy because he has a trinket on him that does more damage to humans. We're gonna just focus on healing. Oh boy. Okay, they're doing what I want them to do. Just target our strongest guy. In response, we're gonna try and kill the Bone Defender. But yeah, the, the stress damagers need to go. They're first to go, just because they I we cannot deal with stress. Mostly because that's them sitting in one of the stress healing areas for an entire week. Okay, he's bleeding. We might need to heal him. Oh, never mind. He seems fine. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Probably actually lunge at that guy. Finish him off. Ah, oh, I was really hoping to kill him with a hex. Oh, curse, not hex. I think they're different. I'm not sure. Oh no, he lost his mark. Eh, I mean, still kill him because that trinket is a 25% increase. Uh. Oh, he lost his bleeding. I mean, how bad is that debuff? Eh. Wow. Okay, I expected a hit. I think we should heal him now. 38 health. That's a bit too extreme for my taste. Like, I know I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. 
Just, we need busts. I'm willing to sacrifice bandages. And then I believe holy water on a pseudo armor. No? Really? I eh, poke it anyway. Oh, that just ha- okay. I thought you got the buff if you used holy water. Okay, that that's just me getting confused. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try a new thumb thumbnail system at least. I'm just not really sure. Or I might just keep it the same just for simplicity's sake. Alright, there we go. We are now handling the situation well. Let's just attack the spitter. No one likes flight. Yeah, no one likes Blight. 17 damage, that's pretty good. Especially with only level 2 equipment. A powerful blow. A trifling victory. Ship it. Shift it's everyone back to places. And now we're back to looting everything. As the it's technically not purchase, stealing because we technically own it. And purpose There's a journal. Clear. A trampled journal, page four. No clue what's wrong with that guy, don't even ask. Um, Alright, we could cut the holy water. Oops. Too late now. Alright, then we need to double back, and I guess we'll just check the left corner first, then. Uh, let's mark the brawler again, I guess. Meanwhile, the stress, the cultist acolyte just need to go. Fine, walk it off. See, look at him, he's fine. Oh boy. Yeah, see, we're doing good. We're doing good right now. <laughs> oh boy, one health. Don't worry, buddy, take your one health. I know, I saved your life. No need to thank me. I'm just doing my job as a kind citizen. Alright. We are going to keep pushing on. Or not with him, at least. Bone Defender. I think my biggest struggle for this project, though, has actually been uh, trying to come up with talkable topics. Not that defaulting back to the podcast podcast is a bad thing, it's just... It's really hard to discuss with a project, like, game, after you tell everyone the basics, because then it kind of becomes common knowledge. I mean, that's what it kind of feels like. There we go, one damage. That also does a pretty nasty debuff. Wow, no one likes him. Real shame. Jade is overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Jade is and it's 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 only good when you have Phantophobia. 
plus 20 stress. Okay. Alright, but anyway, our next goal in the dungeon is to go up. Like I said, I don't, I highly don't want to need to camp, really. I mean, I might after these two rooms, depending on the health and stress of my heroes. Here's the one I was talking about. And he should have a damage buff. Yay, 20% worth. Alright. I guess we'll just point at the strongest one to let everyone take it out. Bold move. Oh, come on. What? Well, at least she did her job. Wow. Everyone's just missing today. Link's Spring Break really threw everyone off. You know what? We're gonna go in for a lunge. He is going to kill himself for zero health. That definitely helped him. Nice, one health. He killed the Arbalist. Next up is just the Defender. Shadow step back, which will give us stealth. From there, we're gonna try and heal ourselves again, which worked. Yes, and there we go. By the time that happens, the bone defender is dead. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Another fight. This time, a bunch of spiders. All right. Okay, be that way. That was actually pretty good damage. Now I'm gonna try and ride the wave of damage. Yeah, him. Okay, nice. Zero health. Alright, that's good. There, we actually handled that pretty well. I don't have any pain in the world. Ah, uh, this is hard. I want to sacrifice. Eh, actually the jade. Because with heirlooms, I can literally upgrade. I already have a stack of crests, I'm good. But for heirlooms, I can upgrade the town and make them better. All uh, items do is they just stay around for like one dungeon. So yeah, that's kind of why I want to have the. That's why I kind of want to have the heirloom stuff instead of like actual money. Because I can get literally like five thousand just by my antiquarian. We've seen it happen before. I think like three times actually. Where we got so much money because we brought an antiquarian into battle. The match is struck. Which, like I said, that is really is cool. Born. All right, we have about twelve more torches. A display case. We're going to open up the skeleton keep gold. Now for that amount, I'm just going to sacrifice Jade. I'm not even going to bother doing the math. Alright. I did a little bit of the math. We would have, that would have gave us 1,300 about, roughly. So we got a lot more out of it, which is good. It's very good. That we got a lot more money out of the entire thing. Alright. Very nimble. That's not good. Oh, and stunned. I actually can't help with that. 
Shame, I was gonna use her Toxin Trickery, which will cure Bleed and Blight. Die to the curse. See, that's the best part about having a tank. You don't need to worry about their overall health, because you know, their health is just fine 80% of the time. You're just worried because it looks like it's halfway, but really it's like, yeah, he has 32 health. He could probably shrug off like five more blows before I have to worry. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Pretty good run so far. But back to the woes of Kool-Aid Man. Grape Kool-Aid. Classic. Classic. I, I just don't really have a lot of commentary today. My, my day's been pretty mixed. If I'm being honest here, it, it wasn't the best. So I'm a little bit out of it. A little bit into it. So if I'm more quiet or the audio is worse, I'm just tired. I mean, I, I'm still sentient enough to play decent, at least. It's just, I really don't want to do project recording. It's nothing with YouTube stuff. I really enjoy this. It's just, I can only play this game so many times before I want to slam my face into the keyboard. And usually once I get to the month, like, after I get 30 weeks into the game, that's when I slowly start divulging into different games. And then this game hops onto the background of just... It's in the corner collecting dust. So, yeah. That's the entire thing behind this game. I'm going to have to swap up the recordings, but I can't at the same time. Because I present in, like, two-ish weeks... So I know if I swap it up immediately, I will. Um, I accidentally scrapped all that rewards. Mount, so too will resistance. Whoops. I blame my mouse. Oh, I got a new mouse pad. No, it's, it's a mouse pad. I haven't fixed my laptop yet, but. Yeah, mouse pad. Woo! Okay, looking at everyone, I think the next room will literally be a rest just for sanity retake for Gillian. Ah, oh, we'll be fine. We, we don't need gold. Oh, do I have any holy water? I don't, so I'm not going to bother going in there. Ah, she can walk that Mechanical track right hazards. up. See, 14 health. By evil intent. Yeah. I think in the next, in this room, we might rest. Just because of mainly stress and somewhat low health. It's mostly stress reasons. Nice. Because having a character with a mania... Are they called manias? I just know the good ones are called virtues. Ah, uh, we can check the help booklet later. There we go. Okay. Oh, I also uh, researched into the permissive darkest dungeon thing, uh, config. It's pretty much the easier quote-unquote mode, which it really is. It literally gives you, um, I think you suffer massive stress damage at the start. So you have a really high chance of immediately going almost insane. Look at the one single painting we have so far. Yeah, we have enough supplies. Yeah, we can camp. I, wait, can I do this? No, I can't. I can't do the food trick. Okay. I think we're just going to camp, rest up, 
without deal with poor Gillian's stress. Um, I need to really look at the yes, because we're looking for encourage, not pep talk. Because pep talk reduces overall stress gain. What's well, this pilfer? Sweet. Some food. Um, William Pep talking to you just in case. Is he like a rune phobe or something? No. That's really weird then. Um, hmm. We're gonna maintain equipment for Gillian. Alright, we're gonna rest. It will also clear up useful storage. That is a lie, we've ran into so many spiders. May we find victory. In fact, I don't even think we ran into really any spiders in the in the weld either. The most we've run into are the mu are the freaky mushroom people. I mean, honestly, which is worse, fighting a bunch of mushrooms or giant spiders? Personally, I would say the mushrooms would be more scary, because God knows if that fungus is, in, is like some sort of virus and you would become like a Last of Us thing. You know, those weird mold zombies? Great game, by the way. The second game sucks, but great game. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely... I think we're gonna go right just in case, because this is a defeat 100% 100% of rooms, which is room battles. Yeah, we're gonna. I mean, I could have used Gillian for the stress heal. Maybe we should have brought the Jester instead. Instead of the. I mean, Ruzel is actually pretty useful, but I didn't realize Gillian is like having PTSD. Oh, there's a secret room down there. We've only ran into, like, one of those. Oh, yeah, back to the permissive thing. Uh, like I said, the permissive, uh, rule set, what that thing does is, um, it quite literally causes, uh, a very high stress gain, and it makes your virtue gain go from, like, I think it was 15% at its base, all the way down to 1%, which makes sense, honestly. Like, you're fighting a giant Eldritch Abomination. Like, everything else you ran into, yeah, the, it's pretty messed up, but, like, an actual being from, like, the Abyss, pretty much, that, that, that I could see that shaking someone, at least. Okay. I love how all my tangents have not been related to the Darkest Dungeon game at all. Really. It's like, you come here to watch this, and then I'm talking about, like, some random side thing. Then again, isn't that all gameplay? Sweet. Sapphire, and I gotta say another thing about this game. I believe I've already said it. Love the graphics. If only what, can we not carry those? Are you serious? Otherworldly corruption. Sacrifice all the food. We don't need it. Food is for the weak. Personally, I say the key, but I don't want to throw those away. Though, eh, we have a lot of. We're gaining. We're gaining things. I mean, I could seriously throw away a lot of the money. But you see, that comes into the fact I'm greedy, and I don't want to throw away money. Like, who would want to lose personal net worth, guys? I mean, Tesla and Amazon don't want to, so why should I? There we go. Just a little bit of de-stressing. We don't have holy water, so we're not going to touch that. Ooh. What does the map say? We discovered that I used three torches, didn't I? Oh, only two. Good. Still, that's horrible. I, I only need to use one, but alright. Well, it looks like we're not going to run into the Collector, because the Collector is only a hallway uh, mini-boss, I believe. 
still, that was terrifying. I did not expect to run into him. I haven't done a lot of marking for death, and that's because mostly these enemies have 8 health. Like, do you really want me to mark them just to do like 30 damage? I'd rather just do this. It's way quicker, way efficient. Especially when they're surprised and you have to sit through this. And I've actually, I have a mod where it just quickens animations. I feel like it's cheating, but I think if I need to rapid through this game, like, if it's like a week or two and I haven't done any major main plot progress, I think I will enable that for an episode. You'll tell a difference. It's, the difference is almost immediate. But yeah, that's if I absolutely need to, though I don't want to, because, you know, 50 minutes of clearing through two dungeons, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Stab him. We feel very stabby today. Heal our Grisalt. Yeah, uh, that's his name. Because I know we usually have two. One of them is our Hook Boy, and the other one is just a human hair. Oh, I thought I was about to say, we have space. Oh, and by the way, what, depending on what's in here, I will be sacrificing gold. Because some of these will come with puzzling trap, uh, trapo, trapezohedrons. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to sacrifice some gold. At least some of the very base gems. And including the herbalist stuff, because, I mean, come on, really. We, we don't need the herbs. Isn't this the last floor? Yeah, this is the last floor. I mean, the last room. So, I'm willing to sacrifice some food. Because it, it's the last room. Please know, I have no clue what the resale value of your stock is. I just know you can your uh, you will be reselling that stuff. All I know for a guarantee is firewood is roughly a hundred. So first off, we're gonna run away. Uh, we're just gonna kill. Oh no. Okay, fine. Oh, these two are different. They both only have one attack, but I seriously thought they were just a reskin bone rabble. This entire time I've been lied to by my own mind. I love Michigan, it just suddenly snows. Like it could be the middle of summer and I would bet we'll have that one day where it will snow. I'm gonna wait for it. Alright, we're doing good so far. I must say, the bounty hunter is slowly making their way on top of the who does the most damage type of deal. Because if you mark them, that's like 20, 30 damage. It competes against Gillian, our like level 5 or so powerhouse of a man. Like, look at him. Isn't he level 5? I swear. He's level 3, but still, he has level 4 equipment. Alright. If there's anything in here, yeah, I assumed it was going to be trapped, because why not? I was going to swap out the shovel and stuff. A grueling adventure comes to a close. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do a long dungeon. Yeah, the, the achievement that Steam says I'm really close for is the heart attack one, which scares me. Hey, Armor Tinker, Wasting Sickness, that sounds terrifying. Clotting, Nervous, eh, yeah, well, we'll cure Nervous. I think we'll cure Nervous first, because the disease is literally just minus 50 resistance. Nothing, I fear. When compared Are you to the kidding me? Of really, neighbors? man? Uh, we need to get rid of the yips, too, which reminds me, can I... Alright. Get rid of the yips. 
inside the mind. And then Gillian. Nervous. I don't mind off guard, because off guard sucks for round one. That's all it does. Which is pretty nice. Uh, okay. Now, I might go for a... Hmm. No, we need, we need one of these, but I can't get that because we don't have enough shields for once in our lives. Until now. There you Every go. Creature has a weakness. 600, I expect that to be more pricey. That's really all I... Eh, we'll do Pistol Shot. I don't use Grape Shot because... You've seen how bad Grape Shot is for me. 90% of the time, I will miss. Upgrade Nervous Stab. Make Healing Great again. Oh, Abyssal Artillery and Knife. I had no clue those were unupgraded. The Curse I'll upgrade anyway too because I'm filthy rich right now. Healing? Eh, you just exist to me. I mean, the healing is good, don't get me wrong, but... Oh god, five points of bleed for three rounds? Jesus, that's like a nightmare. We're gonna heal... I just like the Musketeer. Musketeer gets, like, special treatment in my heart. Because that was one of the classes I got attached to back when I would play this game when I was, like, 13. He moved. Now. Okay. This is the boss I've been wanting to show a psychotic way to kill for a while now. This is all it's going to require. And that's the thing. Everyone's leveled up. This this looks like a horrible setup, trust me. But for this boss fight, you might understand the moment we walk into that room. And I only know this boss fight because this boss fight uh, is pretty freaky to me. Because it involves like body horror. I just want to say that right now. I have no clue where you can skip to. I'm too lazy to put the numbers in it. I'm just gonna say, this is our last dungeon, probably. You can just end the video and save maybe a little bit of your sanity if you think it's gonna be bad. That's on you, I'm gonna let you be the judge. This is the only thing that I'm gonna say. My zeal for blood Actually, the photo isn't that bad, but that's... It's a lot worse when it has an idle animation. Failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly. The creepiest one is the second one to me, by the way. Like that one's actually genuinely scares me. Just, that's the only thing that can get me ticked is body horror, creepy references to meat, stuff like that. Go ahead, dude. Go wild. Oh, wait. We're not in the wild. We're in the warrens. I get those places mixed up every once in a while. I forgot to get the herbalist. Hey, look in there anyway. It's empty. Okay, let's keep marching forward. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, let's keep marching forward. What's the worst that could happen? Now, I don't know the room the boss is in, by the way. Because this is one of the most, like, where are we type of dungeon rooms. And this is why I brought nothing but level 5s. Which will lead to very strong fighting. But yeah, uh, I'll explain my entire strat and why it's this atrocious. Mostly to get the level 5s to level 6s so I can start preparing even more to get into the darkest dungeon. 
and come back alive. Hopefully. I'm not sure if I'll come back alive. But point is, I'll come back. And we're not going to use Grape Shot, just because we all know how bad Grape Shot is. I should probably swap that out with, like, something else. I'm leaning towards point blank shot, honestly. Just because it's a good desperate move if if, did, if uh, our highwaymen were ever caught in the front line. So I mean, you can use them as a front line fighter. It's just they're not really recommended. Same with the flagellant, really. Like, yeah, they have good enough health, but really they perform best in like second slot, in my opinion. Hey, everything here suffers bleed. I'm satisfied. And because of the surprise round, let's try and stun that brawl. Oh, the brawler will die anyway, but... Uh, there. Obliterated. Yeah, I always try and kill the disease enemies first, because disease sucks. Because depending how bad the disease is, it could be, like, very bad because some of these will literally make a character virtually useless. Unforgiving. That's a corpse. Right there, you see? This the swine wretch. I got my revenge. No more tuberculosis. Um Why not? More damage? Yes please. I'm also going to try and stun the Swine Chopper. Not because of the bleed, but because of the stun. Because Ball and Chain is very painful. There we go. Um, anyway. We are doing a fight. And then we're going to keep on going. All right. Of course. Ruins adventure. All right. Usually they get bad. 140. I think we can fail that. Now, what will most likely happen is uh, the exact fear of mine for traps is that I'll walk too far. So it's considered that you activated the trap. If only treasure oh yeah, I forgot we have journal. Other Page six of Darius's journal. Okay. And page five. Man, I show those. I show those out of order. Whoops. Well, doesn't tell you what it is, so it's kind of on their As fault. The light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Stack the torches. Do some damage. Annihilated. We're doing good so far. Still have no clue where the boss is. I'm not sure if we should be concerned or not. I'm guessing it'll be in that corner, but we, we never know. Well, at least I don't know on this board because. Usually the bosses have their own, actually, like, floor. Everything else is randomly generated, I believe. With the only exclusions being the introduction where you're on the path to the hamlet and the... and the first two uh, dungeons in the ruins. And then I think that's it for randomized stuff, really. Like, non-randomized stuff. Hey, I'll have one health. Just because. I don't... Oh, it's your turn. In here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Healing skill, 33%. I completely forgot about that. We're gonna go up here. Secret room. Make secret room, and then there's a boss. So I was right. Was in the upper left corner. Regardless, we're gonna go through a battle. It's just, do you want to go through two or just one? 
Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's my main problem with traps. Nice. Alright, let's open up this. Yeah, sometimes they have heads, by the way. Just one spot, spot. That, I say, there you go. More healing. That'd be kind of messed up, wouldn't it? Eh, I'll keep the journals for once. We have two concurrent pages. I say we keep it. I don't like where that is. I really don't. I understand why they put it there. That was by accident. Because there's no, there's like no room to put it anywhere else, really. But like, why right there? All right. Now uh, Weber down. Okay, we're doing good. Actually, let's give that to him. Ah, uh, let's go crazy. Grape shot. The, the only time it's been successful. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna get, like, a lot of money just from killing the boss, by the way. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be I, home. It's testing my faith of keeping the journals right now. That's what it's doing. I swear. That, that is what it's planning. Let me move my phone off my num my uh, numpad for my laptop. See, we're evolving my recording process as we go. I've been changing a bunch in the background. Please tell me we're still recording. Cool. You never know. You never know. I have I've had OBS mess up on me a lot. Not recently, but I always have to keep an eye on it just in case. We'll stun it. Ten percent, really? Why is Drummond's little face? Well struck. Kinda messed up. Uh we'll name your drum Todd. Sadly, Todd has to die, of course. But, you know, poor Todd. Poor, poor Todd. You wish Todd had a chance, but he didn't. Destroyed. Now, what's that, Boots? This expedition at least I already have those, success. and I don't really like using anything that gives me move resistance. Just because I don't really mind it, so... Yeah. Uh, I hate this boss so much. It counts as four separate enemies. It is terribly... It's terrible to look at. The, mm, pretty much, uh, our goal, cause bleed. Cause bleed, cause blight. Because that will attack its entire uh, health. God, I really hate you. But yeah, that's our goal. If we did two flagellants of the same level, that would be devastating. And they both make separate blight saves. Meaning in total, it already takes double digits of passive damage. Let's see, eight, four, four. So yeah, 16 damage, I believe. Yeah, and it will ship, shift to different it's not like that will save it, but oh god, I don't like this fight. I really don't. I, I would rather fight um, here be here be monsters bosses, which are bosses everyone hates 90% of the time. I already discussed this, it's because the bosses are like they're always two to three stages long. We need it. No, we don't. We don't need to heal them. Because the bosses are always uh, two to three stages long, and they hit like a truck. When they really shouldn't, because of how long they last. See, these guys freak me out. It's just the trombone dudes. These things. 
Yeah, and that one only heals. So that's why bleeding and blighting is so important. And sanguine or whatever. Because that causes massive bleed damage. Regardless, they're dead. Even if they can pop off healing, they're dead. Nothing can heal from what we just did. That was horrible. And keep in mind, this is why the ancestor is so messed up. We're, we're leaving. We're not even going to stay here for any type of loot. We're leaving. I did my job. The ancestor can go die in a pit. Which I'm pretty sure he did. Rabies. I might keep that. <laughs> Just because I'm lazy to cure it and they don't fight, really. I only, I only, the only thing I use is the dazzling lights. Shrieker's prize, stunned by the apparent value of the things concealed amidst its petri a putrid feathers, onlookers wonder if a, if a trek to its perch might not be in order. What? Champion. Molten tail feather. Shrieker, plus four speed. Huh. We could do that. With this part. Eh, then again, everyone in here is sick. I don't think we can do that with this party. But, you know, if it stays around, maybe we can. Uh, you get blackout drunk or whatever you uh, leopards do. Whatever keeps your mind off the fact that your flesh is rotting. Um... Here, have a drinking buddy. Two old guys probably see like the entire war of eighteen twelve right then and there. Okay. Well, I have fifty two minutes. I ex I expect a lot worse. Um, but yeah, that's all really. We fought a couple bosses, just one traumatizing boss. It w it awoke some trauma in me. I'm gonna go deal with that trauma somehow. I'll probably just go scream in the shower or something. I'm not sure yet. Uh, check out Podcast Podcast. They're great people. Totally not a lie. But they're great people. I'm out of here. See you probably Friday.